Well, there you go. I'm still breathing heavy from dragging that thing out. Um, basically, um, right about here, this is the, uh, the right-hand seat, passenger seat in the U.S. Over here, this would be the, uh, the left side or the driver's seat in the U.S. Um, that's where you pull the safety plug. That's got a metal cover over it, which is not especially watertight. And I heard about the, uh, the air cooling in the system. Sure enough, it's got a port that goes up kind of into the, uh, the bodywork of the car. And, uh, yuck. that, uh, definitely got all wet. I'm sure this thing's just, uh, absolutely full of salt water. And on the back here, looks like another, uh, air port of some sort. This looks like it's got a air filter on it. And, uh, there's a big lithium ion sticker. And, uh, plenty of sediment from the storm. This right here was actually a little confusing working in the dark and from below. Uh, the whole battery pack was held on by these nice these nice hefty bolts right here. All go right up, boom, into the frame. Pretty easy. Just pull those out. But uh, back here, it's really hard to see what was frame and what was battery pack. And what that had was a really odd little plate that... Uh, Kind of a goofy thing. It hooks in here, and then the uh, that back screw goes to right by the uh, the front of the rear suspension. And I really did not want to pull any of the suspension apart, but uh, somebody sent me a photo, made it a little more clear. I pulled those out, and then those uh, those ten big bolts, and that's it. Now it's uh, time to wash this off and uh, see if I can start taking the battery pack apart. Let's have some fun, shall we? Okay, I took out all the uh, perimeter bolts from the case. Interestingly, part of this is a, uh, it's like a strip that just kind of like a big clamp whole piece just kind of sandwiches down like a big big clamp back here it looks like this is kind of a big protective bracket sort of a thing and on this side also the piece is kind of a kind of a big clamp but we got that wire harness in the way too we have to move that so I pulled off the trim flipped up that bracket I think everything's off. I think there's nothing holding the cover on. So are you ready for the first look inside a flooded Mitsubishi IMEV battery pack? I don't know if you can see it. Ice, rust, rust, ice. That is what a shot 16 kilowatt lithium pack looks like. I'm assuming that uh, a lot of that dark material isn't just flood water, but it's, uh, I think some of that might be from the lithium batteries too. I think some of these look cracked. I'll have to take a closer look. Kids, don't try this at home. Yes, I did check the packed voltage. There's nothing there. Well, it looks a little cleaner after uh, some washing off. I'm gonna flush it out as best I can, jack up the one end to uh, tilt as much water back out as I can. And uh, I don't know what to do next. Uh, some of the cells certainly do have cracks, some others don't. I don't know if it's possible that a few of the cells are good. Maybe I could, uh, I don't know, maybe there's enough to use for an electric bicycle or something. Otherwise, I'm going to say this is pretty shot. But uh, who knows, maybe we'll get some more snow this winter and I can use this as a sled. <laughs>